What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you a simple, easy recipe that can be had as dessert, breakfast, if you need something that's calorically dense, as well as healthy. And this is something great if you have someone that doesn't get enough protein in their diet, doesn't eat enough animal products, because the classic pound cake recipe is one pound of eggs, one pound of butter, one pound of sugar, and one pound of flour. And when you go really high quality with each of those ingredients, you have something that is both macronutrient and micronutrient dense and excellent for you. So let's take a look at those ingredients. So when you go organic high quality, not only are you getting higher nutrition, you're removing a lot of the negatives, the agrochemicals, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, negative things that can be in our food supply. Plus, it tastes a lot better. Each quality ingredient adds their own complex flavor to it, whereas the conventional monocropped stuff is typically very bland. For our flour, we just have regular organic all-purpose flour. You could go with einkorn, sprouted, doesn't really matter, but there are certainly better choices. You know, mill your own flour. That would be taking this up a notch. With the sugar, you could go with local raw honey. Uh, that would definitely be the best option here. For your eggs, you want to go corn and soy free, again, from your local farm, as high quality as possible. If you're stuck with the supermarket, organic omega-3 eggs are way better than what most people are consuming. And with the butter, go to that local farm, get raw grass-fed butter. We do have Finlandia available on Frankie's Free Range Meat. This is just regular organic butter. And for our flavoring, we're gonna use some vanilla extract. But with quality ingredients, you don't really have to add the vanilla extract, but this is where you can get kind of creative. You can make a lemon pound cake, you could add different fruit extracts, chocolate chips, whatever you'd like to give it its own flavor. I'm kind of curious how lazy I can be doing this. I'm gonna see if I can weigh everything out in one pot, put it in the mixer, and have something reasonable turn out. Uh, so one pound of eggs is approximately nine eggs. Let's see if that holds true. Now a not lazy way to do this would be to separate the whites from the yolks, whip up those egg whites, and give your cake a little bit more aeration, some fluffy texture, because we're not using baking powder here due to it being basically a chemical additive. So whip up the egg whites, fold them into the batter. We did that with, I believe, our eggnog recipe. We've done that with several things in the past. So about nine eggs is one pound. Adding four sticks of room temperature butter. Now we'll add our one pound of sugar. Maybe a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. So I'm gonna mix this up a little bit and then we'll add the flour. All right, we're kind of mixed up, so we're gonna put this back on the scale and weigh out the flour. All right, back in the mixer. All right, after about two minutes in the stand mixer, we have a pretty nice looking batter. So we just have a buttered baking dish. I think I might make some muffins as well. That's probably a bit easier on the cooking time. All right, so we'll just pop this in the oven at 350. It's gonna take about an hour and a half. I'm actually gonna put a sheet of parchment paper on top so that we don't overcook it too much and then we can take it off and brown it at the end. So four pounds of cake is obviously a lot. I'm gonna take that extra batter Pop it in the fridge for a couple days, maybe even up to a week, whenever you'd like to have another fresh cake. And while this is in the oven, you would make your hypothetical topping. You could take some fruit, put it in a pan with some butter, some sugar in there, have a really nice fruit topping. You can make whipped cream, icing for the whipped cream. You would get the highest quality heavy cream you have access to. Put it in the stand mixer with a whisk. Put a little sugar in there, a little vanilla extract whip it up real nice. For the icing, you can take some butter, some confectionery sugar, put that in the stand mixer, mix that up, and that's gonna be your icing. You could add some vanilla to it, whatever flavorings you would like. Those are two pretty classic toppings. You could even just go to the store, get some ice cream, make your own homemade ice cream like I've showed you guys in the past. Uh, but today, we're just making the plain pound cake. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when it's ready. So it's been an hour and 15 minutes, which is the correct cooking time. And despite covering this, we still have a nice amount of browning on the top. 
Uh, but if you left this uncovered, it would definitely be burnt, overcooked. Looks really good. There's quite a bit of butter boiling on the sides here. So, you know, you might not even have to butter this pan with how much butter's in the pound cake. And there we have it. If you guys haven't had pound cake, I encourage you to try some. This looks really good. It's caramelized, brown, and crispy on the outside. And if you cook it for the right length of time, it's gonna stay nice and moist on the inside. I remember as a kid having this with a tall glass of milk, you know, go to a local farm, get some grass-fed raw milk, give it to your kids, give it to your family. They're gonna love it and they'll feel good after eating it as opposed to wanting to take a nap when you eat the conventional garbage. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank stefanocom to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. In uh, my recipe video next week, I'll let you guys know how my family enjoyed the pound cake. Thank you.